Yo, what is up, YouTube man? It is debatable what is the best bronze badge in NBA 2K24, but Interceptor on bronze has to be up there. I made a video talking about 60 steal the rating as well. This video is solely focused on the Interceptor part of it. Getting 60 steel unlocks that bronze interceptor. And once you have this, it is night and day compared to having 25 steel to 60 steel from having no bronze interceptor to having bronze interceptor. With having bronze interceptor, you can comfortably play every lane. You could try to go for the steals. For today's gameplay too, I'm playing some 2v2 no squads. In both gameplays, you're going to see me get one steal a game, and that's all you can really expect, you know. If you have Bronze Interceptor, you're not going to be playing lanes like crazy, you know. It's not like you have Hall of Fame Interceptor playing lock, playing the lanes, getting nine steals in a red game. It's not going to be anything like that. Yes, you can have games. I mean, I've had games where I got five steals with Bronze Interceptor, but you have to be smart about going for the passing lanes you go for. And just having the badge is really just so they can't throw the bad passes. Sometimes going for a passing lane is not the right play. If there's only four seconds left on the shot clock, if you're wanting to make sure they don't get two points, even if you have Hall of Fame Interceptor, it's a risky steal to go for. And it might be better just to let them catch the ball, get a good stop. But on the other end, if somebody knows you don't have steal on your build, they're going to be able to throw it to your guy every single time. In this gameplay too, I wanted to show the light to this. I have no idea what my teammate's doing. This whole first game, he just randomly stops playing for like 10, 12, 14 seconds. He throws me the ball last second. It doesn't quite end up working out too well for me. I miss a lot of shots because of it. I mean, I'm doing everything I can. Thankfully, I get fouled right there. But that's just a little bit of a side point, you know. Whenever I'm playing solo queue, I get sold as well right there. The pass ends up selling me, dragging me, and making me take a bad shot. But you're going to see, I end up getting a steal right here. I mean, right there, if we don't get that steal, maybe we're still able to play good defense, get a stop. But you never know, especially when playing with randoms, you don't know how good their defense is going to be. And why not give yourself the ability to get steals? I mean, if it's going to be obvious and he gets a lane right there, right off the inbound, I think they should take that out where you can steal the ball as the inbound are not moving. All they're doing is spamming X. But like I was saying, if you don't give your build the ability to get steals, then you're at the mercy of them giving it to your guy every single time. You're going to have to play solid defense every single time right there. This is Bronze Interceptor. Like I said, I'm not going to get every single lane. I definitely could have got that one, though. But... I mean, if every single time you went for the right play and gave it to you, then that would make Bronze Interceptor the exact same as Hall of Fame Gold. And those do have to have an advantage over it. I do have a 7'2 center that doesn't have any steal on it. It doesn't have any interceptor. And while I do play good defense on that build, you know, I play straight up. I let them catch the ball. I make sure to get a block, a contest, to get the stop. I do prefer builds like this where I at least have 60 steal. Now, if I could have gold interceptor on every single build, of course I would do that because gold interceptor, Hall of Fame interceptor, it is absolutely overpowered and it makes the game so much easier when you can cause turnovers. You can get into the defender's head. They don't know if they should throw the pass because they're worried they're going to turn it over maybe you get their teammate grade down you get their takeover super low so if you have a build that's smaller you know six foot seven six foot eight six foot nine if you're able to get that interceptor higher to the silver to the gold to the hall of fame i do recommend it like i said it's not an absolute necessity but it is nice to have and if you're somebody that's taller if you can get that bronze interceptor on your six foot ten seven foot seven one no matter how tall your build is that bronze interceptor is going to be nice and it's going to give you the ability to play those lanes if you don't have any steel on your build if you got 25 or even if you only have like 40 50 don't even go for the steals it's not worth it just play good defense you're just going to put yourself out of position you're going to be missing lanes and after that they're going to score it's going to make your teammates frustrated i got one more gameplay for you guys again 2v2 solo queue i'm playing with a high flyer right here and he's trolling a little bit with his passes. You guys are going to see. He does a lot of bounce passes. He does a lot of flashy passes. If the other team we were going against had more interceptor, they might have been able to get a lot more lanes. They might have been able to play some better defense. As it is, you guys are going to see. They don't do too good of a job of getting steals. They, I mean, right there, like I said, this man is literally throwing it off their backs right here. That is a lane you could play if you have interceptor on your build every single time. As you guys can hear, too, I had my teammate talking a bit in game chat. I do think I end up muting him, though. Oh, and there is an interception right there with that big bronze interceptor. I do mute him because he was sniffly. He was coughing. It was bad for the sake of the video. But, you know, I mean, for the most part, I think he was a cool dude. We ended up winning, like, three games. I stayed in a couple after this. He did his thing. A high flyer, sometimes you may think that's not the best pick-and-roll teammate for a big. But I'm able to pop along with able to roll. So we kind of make it work out. Even though he does a lot of this where... 
He kind of drives it on two defenders. It just seems to work out. Whenever you're playing with randoms, you just got to find a way to make things work. Once again, bounce pass. That is something they, I'm sure they want to be able to steal, but they're not able to. He takes the shot right here. I'm there for the big board. Let me know on your build what level of interceptor you use. Bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame. What you guys think of it. It's your favorite badge. Maybe you guys don't value it as much as me. Maybe you guys think that you should save attributes on your build for low in your steel. Definitely let me know your opinions. And if you have a build that has 25 steel, let me know how that works for you. Let me know if you regret having it. If you're somebody that just likes playing straight up DC, you feel like you don't need it. And if you guys did enjoy the video, if you want to drop a like, subscribe, of course, I appreciate it a ton. And shout out to this teammate. I don't know about the first game. I think that guy might have been trolling me. Unless, you know, he was just busy trying to do things while playing the game. If that's the case, then shout out to him, man. This is Sonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.